In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable SSH on your Raspberry Pi operating system when you don't have access to the desktop, and we are going to do that directly on the SD card where you have installed the operating system. So, what you can do is to put the SD card inside your computer. And, well, you may have some error message, but basically what you want to do is go on the boot. So you can see here, now I have a boot partition here, and I can go inside this boot. So in this boot folder, what you are simply going to do is to create a new empty file named SSH. So right-click, new uh, text document, for example, and then SSH. And you are going to remove the extension .txt, so just SSH. You may have a warning here, just click on yes, are you sure? Yes. And you have an empty SSH file. And this is going to enable SSH when you boot your Raspberry Pi with this operating system installed on this SD card. And also note that you may also want to configure the Wi-Fi, okay, maybe you want to configure Wi-Fi, so in this case you have to add, so this one I have added it before, wpa underscore supplicant.conf. And in that file, well, you see you have to write exactly this text and just replace SSID with your Wi-Fi network name and PSK here with your Wi-Fi password with the quotes. Okay, so this is going to make the Raspberry Pi automatically connect to a Wi-Fi and then with SSH you are going to be able to connect to it. So now what you can do, simply close that and then you can just eject here. Okay, so make sure you eject correctly and safely your SD card and now you can take out the SD card from your computer, put it back into your Raspberry Pi and power on the Raspberry Pi after you have done that. And now that your Pi is running for, let's say, 30 seconds to one minute, you can wait a little bit, you will have to find your Raspberry Pi IP address. So I'm not going to uh, go into much details here. I'm going to put some links to complete tutorials on how to find the IP address on the description of this video. And also one quick tip, if you want to easily find your Raspberry Pi IP address, just put in the WA supplicant file, just Make your, if you have a smartphone, you can make it as a hotspot or just create a hotspot and then provide the Wi-Fi for your phone. And then when you open your phone, you can see the Raspberry Pi is connected and you can get the IP address. So now, what you can do, so I'm on Windows, I have opened a terminal. If you are on Linux, just open a terminal that's going to be the same. And first, you are going to make sure that, so in your home directory here, so users and home directory, you have a .ssh folder. And so if you have any problem later on uh, with SSH, what you can do is simply remove that file noun host. Okay, and that's going to solve uh, some of the problems. And now in the terminal, what you can do is simply do SSH and then pi. So pi because pi is the user, the default user for the Raspberry Pi operating system. And then at and you are going to provide your IP address. So this is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi that I have found in my network. You press enter and then you have to say yes or no. So you say yes and you have to provide the password for the Raspberry Pi. What is the default password? Well, the default password is simply Raspberry. If you have changed the password before, make sure you use the correct password and then you press enter and you are inside the Raspberry Pi. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Raspberry Pi step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. All right, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.